Hey guys, I'm Elliot, this is Everything Elliot, and today we're back in the food plot. I'm running out of time. I mean, hunting season is quickly approaching. I've got about uh, two months left until hunting season. I gotta get something planted. As you can see, the expansion still has all the stumps in it. The machine is supposed to be dropped off in about three days for me to dig those out. And if I can get them all dug out in a reasonable time, we might try to plant something out there. But for right now, I wanna try to get something planted in the old plot. Now I did come back here a couple days ago and spray most of this. You can see I've got a nice bed of clover going around the entire outside, all the way around here. So I did not spray the clover. However, I sprayed the grass. You can see it's kind of yellowing. I just, I'm off today. I need to get this planted. So we're just gonna have to do our best, till the grass in as best we can, throw down some seed. Last year, all I did was this area right where we are. However, I did spray over there this year, so we're gonna till that up and plant over there as well. You can see the hunting stands over there. We still gotta make a stand for that, man. I am behind schedule, but being in Colorado for 10 days really uh, threw me off, but we're gonna forge on. Let's give you a look at what we're gonna be doing here. That is staying all grass, that's fine. Everything here is gonna be food plot. You can kind of see where I sprayed. You can see the nice green clover on both sides and we're gonna till all this and then all this stuff that's dying over there. So, tiller's on the Kubota L4701. We're gonna get to it, see what happens. All right, well, with the main portion of the food plot tilled behind me here, it's time I move over to the side, the triangle. Now, last year, I didn't plant that with uh, anything. It was just grass. It's, it's over here. Um, I just laid down some grass when I, like some, um, what do they call that, field mix? When I originally cleared this portion, I just put field mix down everywhere, and it seemed to grow pretty well. Um, it's keeping any of the invasive like bush out and stuff like that uh, Only the grass is growing in the center, which is great. That's exactly why I wanted to plant that field mixture But now it's time to make it a food plot. So 
today I'm gonna plant a mixture of turnips and clover in the center here. Um, and same thing with the triangle over there. It's gonna be turnips and clover. And then if I get this cleared out, everything that's over here, if I get this cleared out, um, I don't know what I'll plant. I'll have to do some research, see what some of the fastest growing stuff is. Maybe plant that. So my plan of attack for planting today is going to be um, throw some seed down. I'm gonna fill my homemade roller up. If you haven't seen the video on my homemade roller, I actually use it for my lawn, but it'll work great here to get uh, seed soil contact. I have great soil here. Um, last year I put down fertilizer. I don't think I really need to. I live downhill of a farm and uh, when it rains really hard, you can you can smell the manure. So we have a lot of nutrients in, uh, in my soil here. So I think I'm gonna risk it and not throw down fertilizer this year. I do have some urea. So what I probably will do once it starts sprouting, I'll get the urea out and I'll spread that just to help it pop. Um, but I think last year I only threw down like four bags of, I think it was 15, 15, 15. So really, really not much of anything. I guess we'll find out this year if I've got good enough soil to grow anything back here without any fertilizer. Again, I'm not doing much, so it's not a huge loss. Next year, when I do the entire thing and it's a full food plot, I'm gonna do soil samples, everything like that, because it's gonna be some money to get everything up and running. This, I don't really care about. It's a, it's, it's a small plot. So I'm gonna get over there. I'm gonna get that triangle portion done, tilled up, and then uh, I'll be back when it's time to throw some seed down and uh, I'll have the roller back here. So we got everything tilled up. There's the triangle plot area, and then there's the main food plot. Now the main food plot, this has been tilled before, so that came out real nice. This area over here has never been tilled before. So it's not as nice looking. The grass wasn't as dead, but we got it done. It should take. Now this year, what I've got is a mix of turnip and clover. Now this is from a local guy, Whitetail Food Plots. Uh, this is the Beekeeper's Meadow Mix. And this bag, which is about half empty, uh, is for a half acre. Got this from a buddy, he used about half of it for a half acre. And then I also have this, also Whitetail Food Plots. Uh, this is also for a half acre, about half gone. Now I did some math uh, and this area that I've got tilled up here is just shy of an eighth of an acre. Uh, it's basically just gonna be a couple handfuls. And this year, last year I hand spread it, didn't work out so well. This year we're gonna be using an actual spreader. So I'm gonna throw a couple handfuls of each seed. I'm gonna do a little more clover, a little heavy on the clover because turnips are uh, annuals and clover is perennial. So I'm gonna do a little heavy on the clover, a little less on the turnips. That way I get some turnips and the clover is always gonna be here. Now next year when I do the whole thing, the clover is obviously gonna be gone. So yeah, we'll mix a couple handfuls. Now I don't know if he did soybeans or something, but it looks like there's a couple soybean seeds in here, which is fine. I guess maybe a couple soybeans here and there won't be that bad. So here we go, this is uh, the clover. I'm gonna do two more handfuls. So that should be enough clover. So I did five handfuls of clover. I'm gonna do probably three handfuls of turnips. Mix them up nice and good. Okay, three handfuls. That should be good. We'll get this zipped up and uh, shooken up a little bit so everything mixes in nicely. Yep. All right. Guess we'll get to spreading.
Perfect. There's just a little bit left. I'm gonna take another handful of clover and uh, do that spot over there. Do two for good luck. So from my understanding, clover you can't really overseed, um, but turnips you can. Turnips and beets you can overseed, which is I think what happened last year. But my clover came in really well, and I used the same seeding technique with the clover as I did the turnips. And the turnips just didn't take last year because it was overseeded. So now we just gotta do this little triangle area over here. We're done with seeding. We'll be able to fire up the roller and roll everything in nice and good. Seeds down. So now, gotta fire up the ATV and we'll just roll this over. Um, I think the camera setup and all this stuff's gonna be in the way, so I'm gonna kinda shake things up. Probably put the camera down there at the other end. Cause I'm gonna need this as like a turning area. So if you've been following along with my channel for any amount of time, you know that I did a food plot last year. And last year I tried to compact it with a soil pulverizer. Did not work well. Um, but that being said, the ground was a lot more wet than it is now. We've had a really dry summer so far. And actually there's a storm rolling in now, which is gonna be perfect. So I wanna get this nice and compacted. And hopefully the rain comes in and everything starts growing fairly quickly here. I just built the roller. Well, not just, I built the roller in uh, spring to roll my lawn and hopefully I can use it for here. Obviously a, uh, a cult packer is really what you want but I don't have that option so I'm doing with what I have. So everything's all rolled out now, and uh, I guess it's up to mother nature. I know it's not the biggest food plot out there, but nonetheless, it'll bring the deer in. Um, I have a large uh, plot of land around me that is unhunted, and uh, it's kind of like a deer sanctuary, which is great. So I just need something to draw them off that property onto my property. And this clover here has been doing a great job all summer. I mean, the deer back here are great. Uh, lots of activity So hopefully this works and there are going to be coming videos of me with a machine in here Like I said an excavator is getting dropped off on Wednesday Two days from now and I'll be able to dig all these stumps out of here and really clean this up This is gonna look way different once I'm done with that uh, Probably gonna have a big old bonfire with all these stumps I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to get rid of them and I do have a lot of firewood still left out here that needs to be cleaned up I did drag a lot of the firewood out already, but there are just some that I can't get to without having uh, the excavator to be able to grab them and pull them out because the stumps are just in the way. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you don't miss any updates I put on the food plot to see if this thing grows without any fertilizer, uh, without any lime. Again, I have really good soil, so we're crossing our fingers on this one. It was super last minute didn't have time to get fertilizer and we're just we're just doing what we can out here so until the next video I hope you guys have a great day